Okay friends, once you are done with your sugar skull, we're gonna practice sewing. To practice sewing, first thing you're gonna do is take a marker and just draw a line on a piece of burlap. This is gonna be the line you're gonna practice sewing. Then we're gonna get ready to thread our needle. So to thread our needle, first you'll need a needle, you'll need a piece of string, and you'll need one of these little hot dog buns. This is gonna be your needle threader. So to thread your needle, you're gonna take the string, put it inside this little hot dog bun, then stick the hot dog bun through the needle. Then I pull it off, I've threaded my needle. So here's that one more time. Hot dog bun, string in the hot dog bun, stick that hot dog bun through the needle, and voila. Now I'm ready to tie a knot. So to tie a knot, I'm gonna take this string and turn it into a fish shape. See my fish? Then I'm gonna take the tail of the fish, it's gonna go under this one, then over the next one. Then I grab both ends and pull apart. Here's that one more time. Make a fish shape, take the fish tail, go under and over, then pull the sides apart. Now I've got my needle threaded and knotted, and I've got one more knot I'm gonna tie. At the back of my string, I'm gonna tie another knot. Same way I did with the needle. Make a fish shape, take the tail, go under, then over, pull both sides apart. Here's that one more time. Make a fish shape. Go under, over, pull both sides apart. And you might actually wanna knot the back a couple times so you have a nice big knot. Now I'm ready to start sewing. Today we're gonna to practice a running stitch. So to do my running stitch, I'm gonna take my needle, put it through the back, pull it through, I keep pulling, but not too hard. I don't want this knot to come through. Then I'm gonna follow this line, and I'm gonna keep my stitches pretty small. If it gets caught up, I gently pull it. Then I'm gonna take this needle, put it right back where it came out. Then I go in the front, out the back, in the back, out the front. And I'm just gonna go back and forth, almost like weaving. And the nice thing about working in this burlap is that you can kind of see where your needle is underneath it, because it's kind of see-through. So you're just gonna keep sewing and sew that entire line that you drew. And having the line drawn on your paper will really help keep you having a nice straight stitch. Once you've got one line, you could try doing a fancier line like a zigzag. or you can keep doing straight lines. And you're just gonna fill up your whole piece of burlap. You can use different colors, you can do all the same, but you can make a nice little piece of art when you're practicing sewing. There you have it, my finished sewing practice. Now it's your turn. Have fun, amazing artists.